Hello everybody, Dylan here from Choco Bear Stories. This is the first ever Choco Bear review. Mainly my friends, uh, Chris and Lewis, asked me to do this because they said I need to spread awareness for popcorn lovers everywhere. So, that is what I am doing here. So, I got this 15 set for $48 on Amazon. Some of them you can't exclusively get at Walmart, like you could only get it in the set. So here we are. Now, we got dill pickle, sour cream and onion, ranch, bacon cheddar, mmm, bacon, garlic parmesan, white cheddar, nacho cheddar, how, uh, cheesy jalapeno, buffalo wing, bleh, cheesy caramel corn, caramel corn, milk chocolate corn, no, but milk chocolate caramel, kettle corn, butter, popcorn salt. Now, I got a body armor ready. So we're going to rate them. We're going to do the average. So here's dill pickle. Sometimes they have a little description of the flavor right here. Dial up the dill like the pickles you love. Our dill pickle seasoning combines real dill with the tanginess of... Vinegar for a new twist on the classic flavor. All right, here we go. Let's try. That, okay, that's pretty good. Holy shit. You know, low pickles? Wait, this one first? I'm going to give this one uh, 0.5 out of 10. Now, the rating. Yeah, let me just pause it. I am rating it. Based on how much it tastes like the real flavor of her butter and popcorn salt. I'm going to go with how much it tastes like a movie theater popcorn. Now, this one is really good. I'm also rating it on how it mixes with the popcorn. And if I can't get pickles right now, would this be a good alternative? Or if I can't get chicken wings, will this be a good alternative? Probably not. Now, sour cream and onion. Here we go. I need a little more. I'm trying not to overdo it so it's not too strong because I'm only using... I'm not really mixing it. And, you know, using broken plates because I don't have much, you know, silverware. Or plates and stuff. Anyway, enough talk. Oh, many more. Uh, it's good when you put the right amount on. Um... I give it an 8.5. There we go. Now, ranch. It's not cool ranch like the Doritos, but we're going to try it. Oh, the sour cream thing had a little note on it, too. Be cool, the cool. Creamy taste of sour cream meets the thing of real onion for your popcorn. It's not just chips anymore. And ranch doesn't say anything. All right, ranch we go. All right, the combination of the popcorn and the ranch, it reminds me of, like, those rice cake crackers, the Quaker, the mini ones. It, it's really good. Now, the water I'm going is savory to the cheesy, to the cheesy, Spicy, and then spicy, cheesy, sweet, and then sweet, and then regular movie theater. Now the ranch, I gotta give a solid nine. Bacon cheddar, here we go. Wait, does it say anything? Nope. Here we go. Holy shit. It feels like... I don't know. Oh. Like, the bacon, yes, it tastes a little artificial, but it, it, that's what's expected. So, it tastes like kind of like it's very, very smoky. Smoked like 
like a Slim Jim, but it's popcorn. I don't like taste the cheese, but it is still very good. I'm going to give it a 9. So the bacon cheddar doesn't say anything on it. Now, garlic parm doesn't say anything. Here we go. Um, I don't think it's a one that I did enough on. Um, so I taste it. It's very vague. I'm a little disappointed. Because I love garlic parmesan wings. Well, not supposed to taste like wings, but um, so it's vague. I probably have to put a lot more like douse it. I don't want to do that because you know shouldn't have that much. But when you do have a lot on it, you taste it very flavorful though. When you put a lot, because I just had a piece that was doused in it. So my bad. <laughs> I give it. 7.5. Here we are, white cheddar. So, you know, smart popcorn, it's pretty much just that. Um, it's a good alternative if you do have the set and you're a big popcorn eater like me. So you don't want to go out and buy the chips. Um, not gonna lie. Tastes just like it. But, is, you, if you want it to be as strong as it, though, I'd say put a lot. And I think you'll have the, the similar flavor. So, if I'm talking about the real thing, I'll give it a 10. A solid 10. Don't get me wrong, they're all good in their own way. But if you want it white cheddar, you know that. Now nacho cheese doesn't say anything either. Um, yeah, let's go. Um, try more. So, it definitely tastes the cheddar, but it doesn't really taste like nacho cheese to me. Um, I mean, it's good, but not the best compared to what we have so far. So, um, I'll have to give it a 7. Okay, before we get to the spicy one, I want to wash all these flavors out of my mouth. I'm going to have some body armor. Okay. We are back. Jalapeno cheddar. Still a little cheesy jalapeno. It doesn't say anything. But let's go ahead and taste. We don't get these to read the description. Um, I need to put a little more on it. I don't taste cheddar, but I kind of taste the heat a little bit. Yeah, we're going to douse it. Here we go. Um. Wow. If you like spicy and cheesy, <coughs> go with this one. I'm not the biggest spicy fan, but spicy is good. And we'll have these when I'm in the mood. But, wow. That's some strong stuff right there. I gotta give it a nine. Okay, I had some body armor. Ugh, time for the chaotic evil. <sighs> Doesn't say anything. Oh, it does. Make your popcorn atomic hot. Or not. And we're buffalo wing seasoning. Let's you sprinkle on the perfect amount of tangy, spicy, buffalo wing flavor you love. I'm just gonna go in. Ah. 
Oh my god, my eye! Oh fuck! Yeah. When I smelt it, it was really strong. Lemonies smell differently than what they taste like, but believe me, they are good. Now this is, um, tastes like buffalo. I think these would be good on wings, not gonna lie. The seasoning? Um, actually good. I feel like it fits, shockingly. Oh shit. I gotta give that an 8. Yes, it tastes like it, but I mean, it doesn't really fit with popcorn unless you're a spicy fan, and I'm not. But, gotta give it the benefit of the doubt and give it an 8. I am back, yo. I just had my body armor to wash out the spiciness. Now it's going to the sweet time. Say anything? Nope. Here we go, people. Um, I didn't put enough. Here we go. Um, it's, uh, I mean, I, I gotta give it a seven. I feel like the caramel one might be better than the cheesy one. Cause I don't know. That the combination of the cheesy, it's just not there. Alright, there's that seven. Caramel corn. Ah, it says something. Real caramel taste in an instant just shake on caramel corn. Seasoning for the sweet buttery caramel taste you crave. Um. Okay. This one is stronger. Um, the cheesy caramel. Maybe if you mix them together, you may get a good combo. Now, it, it is stronger, but I love a lot of caramel. Like, I'm the type of person that says extra, extra caramel in their frappe at McDonald's. Now, it's a perfect fit. Good alternative if we don't have actual caramel. But... I gotta give it a 10. Second 10, ladies and gents. White cheddar, and now caramel. <sighs> Milk chocolate caramel. Chocolate lovers rejoice! Our seasoning turns popcorn into a chocolatey indulgence thanks to the combo. Real cocoa and luscious butter. I didn't put enough. Um, um, I don't know, the chocolate is just, I think you just get real chocolate. It, I don't know. This one's just not it. I gotta give it a five. Highly disappointed with that one, folks. So we're gonna move on to kettle corn. Ah, strawberry banana body armor. Doesn't say anything. Let's just go ahead. Very good. Wow. This is definitely really good. Honestly, I would... Really good. It's a nine. 
But what if you put caramel on top of the kettle? That is a thick combo. When you mix it, it's fucking great. You know what? I'm going to give it a 9.5 if you mix it. So the extra 0.5 is for mixing. Okay, now we're just to the basic flavors. Let's try butter. Um. So. So it doesn't taste like eating it at the movie theater. But. It's the equivalent to. Like the smart corn or regular popcorn that already has butter on it. Oh, you'll get in the bag. So, I give it a. It's just butter. Give it a seven. Now, salt. I feel like it's not going to be good. I smelt it. It's like they just took salt from the dollar store, put it in here, sell it for like three bucks. Pretty much. So it's just salt. I don't even think popcorn salt has its own category. So go ahead. I've been mistaken. It did like movie theater popcorn. Like actual movie theater popcorn. So you'll get the movies. Let's mix them together with butter. Pretty good. Surprisingly, popcorn salt gets an eight. Okay, so I did the average of all the scores. 8.2. So, estimated 8.3. Now, do I say should you buy? Well, if you eat popcorn as much as me or want to eat popcorn more, I say buy it. If you're only going to like four of these flavors and they're not exclusive, I don't know which ones are exclusive. I feel like some are, but um, I say just buy them at Walmart. But if you think you're going to at least like 14 or 13 of the 15, I say get it. 8.3 out of 10. So, that's my answer. I'll put the link in the description. Here is an outro. Bye!